Alright, ladies and gentlemen, continue on with Black Clover. Goddamn Solar Level and coming in and disrupting it. So, we are going to be using the well. Haven't used her. So, I did uh, get her Greymore. Um, I actually wasn't really going to get her Greymore. Purely because the Greymore passive, um, I'm not really that interested in. Because right now, what it is, is that at the start of the battle, I got a 10% maximum HP increase for a ally attacking class. I don't know why I would need that, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I don't know why it is what it is. Maybe maybe in due time it will, it will come in handy. But I will say the big sell point for me was the uh, the buff on the second skill. So of course, not only do I remove DOT, but um, for a specific designated ally, for example, let's say they're stunned and whatnot, I can dispel that. So her second skill fully just completely dispels everything. Um, yeah. Not on an AoE, or AoE for DOT, but specifically for like stuns, etc. So, yeah, that was kind of big reasons. But if anything, I would probably opt out from just getting the HP up. So I probably, you know, resort to getting that fifteen percent, unless I've got the uh, the book. But it's uh, only one dupe, so I need to get more dupes on that. But either way, yeah. Um, so that's kind of the skill levels where I'm leaving it at. So need to work on this a little bit more because it's more on the HP side of things. But I'm focusing more on real at the minute. So yeah. But anyway, I do want to try her out, so let's go see what this character is all about. Alright, so I'm going to go on this boss fight because this boss fight immediately applies DOT. So I kind of want to see Noel in action in terms of removing the DOT. So let's see how this works out. Because of course that second skill is going to be clutch. This is where the... Con I mean, of course, her ultimate does provide healing too, but... Uh, I believe the charmy effect, as I like to say, is what is the second skill for Noel, which you'll see in just a second. So I'll actually speed up Noel here just for the sake of things. There we go. Okay, so everyone's taking burn. So let me just make sure we're all good. Okay, so this should dispel. I mean, no one's like stunned or anything like that, so we'll just whatever. So second skill goes off. Damn, there we go. So because of all the DOT that we had, um, Two of it was dispelled because we had three. Two of it was dispelled, right? We've still got one on us. Yeah, still got one on us. But we're doing 22k healing. And then on our each turn, we're also doing it. I think it's forever going to be 22k because it's not for two turns. So realistically, so we're immediately getting that charming effect, of course, which which is what I love. Um, I don't want to do anything to you. Okay, half health. We'll take that. Yep, look at that. Beautiful. So we'll just do this. There we go. Take it nice and slow. And then, I kind of want to see what the ult is going to be doing. Let's see. Let's let, let's have a look at the ult here itself. So, of course, make sure that her HP is upscaled. So that way we can make the most of the healing. 58k healing. Beautiful. And so from that ultimate, we remove the remaining debuffs that we had. Right? We can remove two debuffs. And this is on for all the allies. Obviously, we get the healing back, which I could put up much greater. But for right now, it will do. And then on top of that, we do get a damage reduction. Well, we should. Yeah, there we go. 32%. Now, I'll admit... Okay, so, so far, this Noel isn't too bad. For a character to combat DOT, this is the healer to take. I'm actually... To be fair, just from... Obviously, as the video has just started, and for me initially using this Noel, the Season 10 characters are actually pretty nice. <laughs> I'm not even going to cap right now. Pretty nice. Um, obviously with the passive at the start of the battle she applies the debuff where uh, it reduces the amount of damage dealt by 35% to all the enemies so in terms of PvP that would be pretty handy. Again in terms of fighting back Mera Leona she's a sort of, I mean she's a nice unit but I mean blue typing. Going against green typing. Don't know how I feel about that one chief. So same thing again we'll go against Witch Queen because I'm pretty sure she can pile on um, DOT onto us. So we'll go with that. I will admit, I think going for dupes on Noel is more beneficial than if I decided to go for real dupes. Because I feel like with real, he's kind of chilling. Um, but looking at Noel's like LR plus 2 and LR plus 5, it actually sounds really good. So like her LR plus 2, um, if you're given continuous damage, give yourself a 10% increase in mobility. Which is absolutely beautiful for a healer especially in terms of noel if we're going against uh in, in, in a situation where dot is a thing which in, in this scenario of course it is so let's kind of cleanse ourselves in that and then of course if i max her out it really actually makes her a really good healer in terms of um she has a recovery effect every turn 
where my allies get 20% of her H obviously of her max HP back as healing. So outside of because right now, if you really think about it, the consistency of healing is coming from with my allies hit, being hit by DOT. Outside of that, then realistically, that second skill ain't healing anyone, and that I'm having to resort to the ultimate. Now, of course, the ultimate I can only apply that once every couple of turns because, of course, I have to get it back up to eight out of eight. Um, so the consistency realistically is really heavily coming from the the, the LR plus five. Um, and if anything, at that point, I think Noel is like the best healer when it comes to consistency of healing. Because then you've got the LR plus five consistently popping off. You've got the DOT healing popping off, if that applies. Then you've got the ultimate going off. So, yeah, there's multiple cycles of just, uh, you know, HP healing, just, you know, <laughs> I guess it going off from the world's perspective. So, that's something. Obviously, with the first skill, um, I, I think it's more beneficial for PvP because, of course, it does stop barrier play. And it does support in giving um, the high. St I think it's going to get yeah. So it's going to give the high stacking unit um, uh, one plus SP. So in terms of running Noel and Charlotte together, that oh wait that could be a thing now. That final slot. I mean, then again, you're taking out Alster as well as Mary Lou. Well, that final slot is always an open book, but I mean, Noel is not a bad option to have to be honest. So yeah, it does kind of open up a few things now. So. Yeah, Noel is not a bad. Yeah, she's not bad. She is not bad, boys. I cannot hate on this. All right, let's dive on in and let's try out the boss raid. This is on stage four, by the way. So, got to get this one done. But yeah, I think I think she works out perfectly fine. If I'm being completely honest. So, obviously with this boss, if we can get some DOT going up. But I mean, yeah, yeah. So DOT has to be added here. Wait, I might. Yeah, I've got the. Uh, I don't even know. I haven't even translated any of this. I'm just diving in. But um, anyway. Let's see if we can cook something up here. But you know, I'm a fan of Noel. I'm a fan of Noel. Um, I mean, DOT was slowly becoming a little bit of a menace. So to have a healer that can just combat that now, um, I think Noel is a nice little touch. Now, what I would have preferred her to be a red typing, hmm. <laughs> just to kind of fight back the goddamn Mary Leona play, because that's that's kind of like better. Again, this is more on on the line of talking about perspective through PvP. Um, I think PvE in general it would just be beneficial, just whatever. Because again, she's not focused down on having to be through, uh, just with the blue team, so I think that's that's the plus side. She can be used in whatever team, whatever situation. So that's that's also a nice little touch to have. So there we go. Ah, well, you ask and shall receive. That's exactly what we need. Okay, well, let's start cooking, shall we? Let's start cooking. So, we did that, there we go, let's cleanse, beautiful, nice, now we've got that beautiful healing in, and it's going to be on for two turns, so we can actually make good use of that, uh, there we go, oh god damn, it's a lot of damage, but we got a good amount of heals, I mean at this point what I can do is utilize the ultimate, so that way we get the damage reduction, and also give these boys up some more healing, so let's kind of do that. Okay. I mean, to be fair, I, I. Oh, okay. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Oh, here we go. The triple whammy attack. Ah! I'm gonna get it. Should be the tank. Ooh, nicely done. Nicely done. We, okay, we tank. We tank that nicely. We actually tank that pretty nicely. I'll have to admit. Um, okay. And then at this point, what we can do is get the well rocking and rolling once again. Julius can come in and he can ult. Damn, these turn ones are, are a pain. Absolute menace. Okay, so we've still got the healing going on from the well, so that's fine. Uh, we'll just do this. There we go, that will help. I mean, there's no barrier play going on between this boss fight. There we go. So we cleaned up pretty nicely. You know what, Noel? Yeah, no, Noel helped us out tremendously there. Can't complain. So yeah, in situations like these, in, in like the whole DOT things, um, yeah, Noel is... It's right now the perfect healer, so can't go wrong with that. All right, now we got real. What's popping, real? How you been? How you doing? Hey, what's going on? Okay, we're gonna have to get everyone's speed up, get fortifies running. Let's do defense drop. There we go, beautiful. Let's apply this. Bop, beautiful. 
This ain't gonna. Be, he's got a lot of health, hasn't he? Hasn't he? Oh my god! Oh, he's gonna do it to me then. All right, let's go. <laughs> How much health do you have? This is ridiculous. I'm so confused. Um. <laughs> what? How did I just? Where did? Just... I'm so confused. Don't worry, boys. Um, I'll translate, and then when it comes to me unlocking the last stage, I'll uh, inform everyone. So that way, when it comes to those that are on global, you guys know ahead of time, and uh, yeah, we'll um, we'll we'll attempt it there and there, and uh, yeah, I'll translate everything that we need. Know about this map. I, I need to. I need to rewatch. And what the hell just happened? Yeah. I mean, there's nothing more to say other than the fact that she's a good healer. She honestly is. Um, you know, she's got that charmy vibe to her in terms of the DOT cleanliness. Um, if you have a grey more, that helps out tremendously with what you can completely cleanse and the healing. So this second skill, in terms of healing and cleanse, is extremely good. Um, can't go wrong with the ultimate itself, you know, removing two debuffs, applying a lot of health, and then having damage reduction, spot on. Um, first skill, making it so that the enemy can't get any barrier, so that does actually uh, hold off certain uh, barrier matters, I will say, so that's actually really good. And then, of course, giving the highest attacking unit on your team, plus one SP. Now, again, if you can cater to getting her duped out, I mean, it's not a bad idea. It's, it's not even a bad thing because of course you know just by getting the initial um, LR plus two uh, that is 10% mobility if she has any DOT applied onto her so you know I mean can't go wrong with mobility on healers but then the last um, passive you know gives uh, HP equal to 20% of her max HP to allies every turn I like that I really do that's that that right there is 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 kind of what i want so but it's at the cost of plus five and I, ah the temptation boys the temptation another good it's always noel what the frick is going on why is it that always seasonal noel always come out good uh, this noel is not bad she's actually pretty good and this lr plus five i kind of want that consistency of healing i mean i'm not gonna lie although it can be easily stopped by <laughs> Um, make it so that you, you know you can't get any heals so there's that hey Langris you we're gonna need you my boy uh, oh wait Langris green typing AOE stop healing oh wait hello <laughs> hello um, oh well, well then again you do remove two debuffs so on the ultimate so you know there's that combatness anyway I think I'm gonna leave it there I've seen what I need to see from Noel so now we just got left to do is have some fun on PvP and try out some meta teams and see how these characters see if they're met I, I, real is 100% gonna be meta no doubt in my mind. Noel, I feel like we have to pick and choose and specifically go for DOT teams in order to get the best out of her. That's 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 what I'm personally getting at, but we'll, we'll try it out. Anyway, that is that. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll leave it there.